This lesson will introduce you to a new part of speech, that is the infinitive. Now the infinitive is a type of verb that also functions as a noun. So as a verb, it's formed off of a verb, it comes from a verb, uh, but it serves a lot of functions as a noun. We'll find more uses of it as we go. Uh, now, as a verbal noun, as a verb, it's going to have tense. Today we're just going to talk about the present tense. It's going to have voice. Here, it's going to be active. And also as a verb, it can do things like have a subject. It can take an object. It can uh, take indir uh, indirect objects, have prepositional phrases, all sorts of things. Uh, but it's not going to have person or number. All right, so it's a verbal noun, which has tense and voice, in this case present and active, um, that will do a lot of things that a noun can do. In English, this is our to blank. So, to walk, to sit, to persuade. So we'll first cover how to form the present active indicative, uh, infinitive, and then we'll talk about use. So to form it, we're going to take the present stem, and we're going to add ain to it. And the accent will go uh, back as far as it can. It's recessive. So thuo, the present active infinitive, is thuane. So we take our stem plus ain, thuane. So this is to sacrifice. Pempo, stem pemp, and ain, and we get to send. That's all there is to it. Uh, this is not going to change at all. Any, every, all present active infinitives will have this ain ending. Now, how to use it? The first use we're going to encounter, the only one we're going to encounter in this chapter, is the complementary infinitive. Uh, this completes the idea of another verb. So uh, when we get the idea of I am able, so I am able to do something, I'm able to send, uh, or also in the example here, ethelo bazeluen, ethelo I want, what do I want? I want to be king. So here's our complementary infinitive, ethelo bazeluen, I want to be king. Another example of this complementary infinitive, ethelusi koptein, they want to chop down tadendra. So here this accusative is the direct object of the infinitive. The infinitive is a uh, complementary infinitive, completing the idea of ethelusi, they want. What do they want? They want to chop down. What do they want to chop down? Tadendra, the accusative. Now, this, these uh, infinitives can also have a subject, but with infinitives, the rule is the subject of an infinitive is in the accusative. That's so, Athelomen, we want, what do we want? To stulus coptain, we want the slaves to chop down. So this accusative is the subject of coptain, we want the slaves to chop down the trees. So this accusative is the direct object of coptain, this accusative is the subject of coptain. How do we tell the difference, the two accusatives? Context. Obviously we don't want the trees to chop down the slaves, we want the slaves to chop down the trees. So if it makes sense, you're probably at least uh, able to argue uh, your point. All right, a couple of more examples. Pethes, you are persuading tus anthropus thuen. You are persuading the men to sacrifice. So here, these are the accusative subject. And keluo, I'm ordering the young men to flee. Again, these are the accusative subject of the infinitive. Now, one last piece uh, of, of information. If you want to negate this infinitive, so if you want to say, I'm ordering the young men not to flee, we're not going to use u. Instead, we're going to use me. Keluo tus nanias me fugin. And in general, 
may is used to negate infinitives. So you are ordering, you are persuading the men not to sacrifice, may thuan, not u. May is our negative here.